When you walk into the Oak Ridge Leadership Computing Facility at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, which is this large building where the Frontier Supercomputer and Summit Supercomputers are housed, it's actually a pretty quiet building. There's almost a hush there. I like to think of it as kind of a hush of reverence that the scientists in the building have for this giant machine, Frontier. The machine is about 300 tons, and it's cooled by a water system that pumps 60,000 gallons of water through the computer every minute. The computer has about the same amount of storage as 33 libraries of Congress. And perhaps most stunning is what the computer is capable of when it comes to calculations. Frontier is capable of completing one quintillion calculations per second. And that's a number you don't hear very often. We're used to billions, we're used to trillions. After trillions, there's quadrillions. And after quadrillions, you get to quintillions. And in the world of high-performance computing, this is called the exascale. Frontier is the first computer in the world to break what's called the exascale barrier. And four times in a row, it's been the number one computer on the top 500, a list that tracks the fastest supercomputers in the world. And why this matters is because Frontier allows scientists to see and do things that they were previously unable to do. Because it's so fast, it can take simulations of things like the beginning of the entire galaxy, of a jet engine operating at full steam, of genetics, of viruses multiplying. And it allows scientists to, to see things at a scale that they couldn't see before. The Department of Energy spent $600 million on this machine, and everyone agrees it was an incredibly worthy investment. Scientists can apply for free time on the machine, and the Department of Energy can grant them that time, as long as they publish the results in an open scientific journal. I think across the 80-year history of Oak Ridge National Laboratory, which has been full of discoveries and innovations, Frontier will always be near the top of the list of historic innovations. It made Time's list of the best 200 inventions, and it's not slowing down anytime soon. I think for decades to come, it's going to open up scientific discovery, and it's going to be a superlative machine, even when it's no longer the world's fastest.